we uh, work on uh, animal protein production with uh, the use of ruminants, and we believe that this is a way to, uh, to sustainably produce animal protein. Uh, often, ruminants have been uh, understood as very inefficient animals in terms of transforming uh, natural resources into, uh, into meat or, uh, or milk, but this is not totally true when you look at it from a different angle. When you look at that, uh, ruminants can uh, transform uh, resources that are not edible, like fibers and, uh, and non-protein nitrogen uh, forms, into uh, protein, milk, um, meat. So they can be comparable to other farm animal species like poultry or pigs, if you consider that these animals can consume resources that other animals cannot use. Well, we always say that if you feed better a calf and you keep the calf healthier in early life, it will produce more milk. Uh, but this is not, in fact, what's happening. Uh, these animals are meant to produce that much milk. But it is when, when we don't feed them well and when they get sick early in life that they reduce their productivity. But this has been the rule traditionally in the production system. So when we uh, restore this health and restore this, this, restore this adequate uh, nutrition, they, uh, they produce more, but they produce what they are meant to produce. And, uh, and of course, it's just a matter of how you express it. Um, but it is not an increase. It's a restoration of their potential. Well, when they transform um, vegetable mass into, uh, into animal protein, they are, in absolute terms, inefficient. But in, um, in um, net terms, they can be even net producers of protein. And uh, in fact, when they consume uh, grasses, fiber, byproducts, they can turn uh, these raw materials uh, into, uh, into food from resources that are not food.